Hello, my name's Mark. In this video, I'll make a wiggly box. I started off, I haven't really filmed much of this because it's just too, it would take so much of the video up. But So that's the shape of the box, which is the ply template for the box. Just as a quick how I made it. I made that wiggly line by just drawing around like well, paint nids, really. And I cut it out on the jib, on, on the um, bandsaw, sanded it all up so I got like a smooth line. And then I just used sections of this onto there. And just pulled it along its length just to make the whole thing completely random. Screwed it onto it, and then just fl flush to it, trimmed it on the rad tape, which you'll see that in a minute because that's how I'm going to do the rest of it. So that's that's how I made the template. But if I film the whole template process, you could probably make a whole video just making the template and it'd be a little bit boring. So that's how I've done it to start with. So that's the shape of the box I'm going for. Start with, I'll cut these out. So these these will cover now sort of the outside widest diameter of the wiggly lines. So I'm gonna glue these together, just gonna use CA glue. I know just to make a frame in effect, I know it's not a very strong joint, but as I as I stack them it'll it'll be like I'm gonna make like a box joint effect of one going one way, one going the other way, so in a minute it'll be fine. So I'll just do this so I can cut the first one out. So now I've got basically it's like a picture frame. So stick the template on top and just cut off as much waste as I can, obviously leaving a couple of millimetres up to my template so I can just make it easier just than having to flush trim off the flows as much so much material. So the next stage, if you, I'm still going to leave that template on the back thing and glue another layer on, like that, and then that will reinforce those joints. You know, because if, if I take that off of there now, there's such a little bit in them corners. The super glue is never, I'll be surprised if it's still in one piece. So, I mean, normally you can glue one on each side, but I'm just going to glue one on there, give it a good few hours for the glue to put properly set. I should have some nice, should be nice and rigid then. The glue's dry and I've flush trimmed it, removed the, the, the template, so now I can just use this, as it were, as a fact, as my template. So I'm going to add, I'm going to now glue well, what, one, to, one to each side and do two, two, two at a time now, so it should be a little bit quicker. So I've stacked up a few layers now, a few, a few burns in on there, but hopefully when I sand it up, that will come off. Then, at this point here is where is where when I finally finish the box and want to separate it, it's where I want to cut it in, sort of cut through it. So I've just got to cut some softwood down. So I'm just going to glue in a layer of this. So it's just pretty much a little bit thicker than the thickness of the of the blade. So otherwise, if I don't do that, when I well, it'll mess my pattern up because I either have one of these will be smaller, or if I cut into two, two you know two will be smaller. So just stick a bit of this softwood in, in in effect, just to turn into sawdust. So I've finally got all my layers glued up. So the top needs to be the sapeli, so obviously to keep the red, you know, the red and white pattern as it were going through it. Um, but the top I've only got well half a dozen bits, but the bottom is loads of bits here. But it's quite a light colour. I don't know if it is sapeli or what it is, but it's a really light colour. I can only find well loads of little bits. The right, I've got loads of darker stuff, but it's no good. I want to keep trying to keep the colour the same. So glue it up, hopefully it won't, when it's all glued up, it won't look like it's so many bits. Glue on these is just about dry now, I'm sticking through the thickness and get them down to the, to the right thickness. These haven't come out too bad, so all I'm going to do is just, is just rough cut them to the shape of the box and then glue them on and then just flush trim them up when the glue's dry. It's all done, so it's just a really case of sanding it out now before I separate it. That's going to be, going to be a great fun job, that is all these, getting all these burns off the side of it. Finally got it sanded up to a reasonable standard. So now I'm going to try and split it. I hope I don't mess it up after all this work. So that's me, I don't know if you can see on the camera, where I glued that, that piece of softwood in. So that's where I'm going to try and cut it. So 
I'm going to cut down there on three sides and when I do the full side I'm going to stick a couple of these plastic packers in the slot tape them in and then try and stop it collapsing on itself so I can't nick it and worse if one of these falls on the blade it's not going to matter it's only plastic too bad that you can, I don't know if you can see, I've got like the most tiny, tiny, almost like a veneer piece of it left because I made it fractionally thicker just to give myself a little bit of wiggle room so I can just sand that off flush now where you can just see because that should be red and it's, you can just see the soft in the knots. It's really thin so I should better sand it off. Thinking about putting a handle, well not a handle, just a weird shape like a, a wiggly line on top of the box that can be a handle. Not 100% sure where I'm going to do it in here, but I'm going to, certainly going to make it and see what it looks like. So I've just been drawing wiggly lines, just drawing around paint tins, anything, just to get some wiggly lines. So I'm just going to cut one out on the bandsaw, fiddle around with it and see what it looks like, and then go from there. I made a couple of those wigg wiggly things for the lid. I made a plain one first. Not too keen on that one. Then I made another one with a red line down the middle. Sort of airing towards that one. But I'm still not convinced it's gonna whether I need it or not, but I think I'll put it on. I've then um, stuck a couple of little lugs in the corners just to position the lid. And um, it's just final sand and add some finish now. There it is all done. I decided against that wiggly thing on the top, giving it a couple of coats of Osmo. Doesn't come out too bad. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, please consider subscribing.